Hi, welcome to Singlehood, masters of the solo symphony, captains of the unattached fleet, architects of the singular castle, connoisseurs of solo adventures, soul nomads in their relationship wilderness, CEOs of their own relationship status, champions of singular serenity, guardians of the unclaimed heart, pilots of the one-way love express, and custodians of the single sanctuary. We are going to talk about being single, staying single, or singlehood. There are many reasons why people choose to stay single temporarily or permanently. Some people just broke up or lost someone and want to take time to heal or grieve. Some people believe that singles have more freedom of choice to pursue their goals and have casual relationships or freer sexual lives. Some people simply desire or crave being alone. Some do not like commitment. Others want their independence and do not want to compromise. Some people do not trust easily. After rough relationships, some people are simply not willing to risk disappointment or hurt again. Some people want to avoid repetition, compulsion, where when they have been hurt in the past, they have been tempted to rush into new relationships with people who are wrong for them because they were trying and hoping to subconsciously fix the pain. Relationships involve expenditures that some people are not ready to indulge in. Some people are shy while others are afraid of rejection. Some are still figuring out their sexuality. Change scares some people. Some want to have more time for their hobbies, while some deem themselves as not the family type. Some have not found someone interesting enough to give up singlehood. Some just can't have children for many reasons or have a disability. Others have serious health issues. Some do not want to get bored. Others want to have fewer obligations and some want to avoid jealousy while some have sexual difficulties. Here is a compilation of advice from various sources. Everything ends and begins with what you believe about yourself. What you believe will determine where you will go or who you will become. Can you give someone else your undivided attention? Do that for yourself. Doing things for the outcome rather than for the joy of the process disconnects you from yourself. You start chasing. You get desperate. You forget your why. But most importantly, you don't allow yourself to be happy until you get what you want. And if that never comes, you never practice being happy. Realize that if a door closed, it's because what was behind, it wasn't meant for you. Think of two people living together day after day, year after year, in this small space, standing elbow to elbow, cooking at the same small stove, squeezing past each other on the narrow stairs, shaving in front of the same small bathroom mirror, constantly jogging, jostling, bumping against each other's bodies by mistake or on purpose, sensually, aggressively, awkwardly, impatiently, in rage or in love. Think what deep, though invisible tracks, they must leave everywhere behind them. Sometimes it takes a wrong turn to get you to the right place. Life isn't meant to be lived perfectly, but merely to be lived boldly, wildly, beautifully, uncertainly, imperfectly, magically lived. It's probably not just by chance that I'm alone. It would be very hard for a man to live with me unless he's terribly strong. And if he's stronger than I, I'm the one who can't live with him. I'm neither smart nor stupid, but I don't think I'm a run-of-the-mill person. I've been in business without being a businesswoman. I've loved without being a woman made only for love. The two men I've loved, I think, will remember me on earth or in heaven, because men always remember women who caused them concern and uneasiness. I've done my best in this regard to people and to life without precepts, but with a taste for justice. You will learn as you get older that rules are made to be broken. Be bold enough to live life on your terms and never ever apologize for it. Go against the grain, refuse to conform, 
take the road less traveled instead of the well beaten path, laugh in the face of adversity and leap before you look, dance as though everybody is watching, march to the beat of your own drummer and stubbornly refuse to fit in. Remembering that I'll be dead soon is the most important tool I've ever encountered to help me make big choices in my life. Almost everything, all external expectations, all pride, all fear of embarrassment or failure, these things just fall away in the face of death, leaving only what is truly important. Remembering that you are going to die is the best way I know to avoid the trap of thinking you have something to lose. You are already naked. There is no reason not to follow your heart. No one wants to die. Even people who want to go to heaven do not want to die to get there. And yet, death is the destination we all share. No one has ever escaped it. And that is how it should be, because death is very likely the single best invention of life. It's life's change agent. It clears out the old to make way for the new. For several years, I had been bored, not a whining, restless child's boredom, although I was not above that, but a dense, blanketing malaise. It seemed to me that there was nothing new to be discovered ever again. A busy, vibrant, goal-oriented woman is so much more attractive than a woman who waits around for a man to validate her existence. Hope for love, pray for love, Wish for love, dream for love, but do not put your life on hold waiting for love. If you learn to really sit with loneliness and embrace it for the gift that it is, an opportunity to get to know you, you learn how strong you really are. To depend on no one but you for your happiness, you will realize that a little loneliness goes a long way in creating a richer, deeper, more vibrant and colorful you. Single is no longer a lack of options, but a choice, a choice to refuse to let your life be defined by your relationship status, but to live every day happily and let your ever after work itself out. Being brave enough to be alone frees you up to invite people into your life because you want them and not because you need them. Single is an opportunity to live life on your own terms and not apologize. Be a bit of a challenge, not because you're playing games, but because you realize you're worth the extra effort. Single means too fabulous to settle. There are some places in life where you can only go alone. Embrace the beauty of your solo journey. There is something really cool about knowing that your destiny is so big that you're not meant to share it with anyone, at least not yet. Happily single is recognizing that you don't need or want to be rescued from your life by a handsome prince because your life is pretty awesome as is. Always respect yourself. You attract what you are, so be mindful of how you are presenting yourself. If you want respect, you must first learn how to respect yourself. First, attracting negative attention is never a good thing. Be a person of substance. Be a person that people respect, admire and look up to. Do not disrespect yourself by lowering your standards and accepting just anything that comes your way. It's okay to be single. If you want a relationship of substance, you can't keep entertaining people and things that mean you no good. Think about it. It's all up to you. Removing someone out of your life can hurt like a knife, but sometimes it may be the only way for you to survive. After years of searching I have found my soulmate and it is myself. The bachelor is content or he still dates women from time to time. I never feel alone realizing the fact that my life is my only life partner. Single life shouldn't be a diet of junk food aiming only to please one's lower appetites. It should be a time of preparation, the veggies that earn our dessert. I love my freedom so much and at the same time, I like to keep my options open. What does that make me?
Marriage is not for me. I tell you that I am a blank verse. I am talent and I do not rhyme with love. I am talent and I do not rhyme with man. It is a sin how happy I can be living alone like a hermit. I was free and that is exactly why it was so terrifying. I love being single. It's almost like being rich. It's been so long since I last had sex that I sometimes go to my local coffee shop just to hear someone scream my name. It seemed everyone was a part of the fabled equation of one plus one minus me. Longing for someone to give meaning to your life indicates a lack of personal goals and aspirations. Marriage is a daring game. Without embracing change, we cannot expect to grow or become fully developed adults. I don't make mistakes, I date them. Do not let society fool you into believing that if you don't have a girlfriend or a boyfriend, a wife or a husband, then you are destined for a life of misery. The Dalai Lama has been single for over 80 years and he is one of the happiest people on earth. Stop searching for happiness in places outside of yourself and start finding it where it has always been, within you. A great many people do believe that to be single is to be somehow incomplete and that they need to find the other half. We believe, on the other hand, that the fundamental sexual unit is one person. Adding more people to that unit may be intimate, fun and companionable, but does not complete anybody. Think of all the things that you alone don't have to do. You don't have to turn out your light when you want to read because somebody else wants to sleep. You don't have the light on when you want to sleep because somebody else wants to read. You don't have to lie awake listening to snores or be vivacious when you're tired or cheerful when you're blue or sympathetic when you're bored. You probably have your bathroom all to yourself too, which is unquestionably one of the great blessings. From dusk till dawn, you can do exactly as you please, which, after all, is a pretty good allotment in this world where a lot of confronting is expected of everyone. Single or married, you are responsible for your own happiness. Be very careful of who or what you entertain when you're bored. Boredom can get you caught up in some foul stuff. Marriage is no barometer of mental health. It's better to stay single than being single again. We all have our own road to walk, whether rocky, curving, straight or smooth, What good is a lonely road? It's when we run and intersect with other roads that defines our road. When road meets road, do we get direction and choices to cross into another life? Create your own singleness, your own loneliness, and know that you know this is exactly what you're doing and feel damn right about it. Honestly, one of the key elements to a great relationship, if you can't be honest with your partner, stay single. Single life is time to heal, breathe, reestablish who you are and tackle any fears you may still have, all without society, friends and family breathing down your neck. Don't ignore the love you do have in your life by focusing on the love you don't. 